Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Boris Vasky and David Bronstein. This is the game from Soviet Union Championship that was played in 1960. In which country this Soviet Union Championship was played? It was played in Afri. 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 It was played in Soviet Union. Spassky had white pieces and he started with e4. Bronstein played e5. f4, king's gambit. Accepted. Knight to f3, preventing queen to h4 check. d5, e takes on d5. Bishop to d6. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn is the most commonly played move. And then white usually plays knight to c3 or bishop to c4. In our game we have bishop to d6, knight to c3, knight to e7, d4, Bronstein castled kingside, bishop to d3. After black has castled, white, king's bishop, is the most dangerous on d3, aiming at the pawn on h7. Knight to d7, Spassky castled kingside h6, knight to e4, knight takes pawn on d5, c4 attacking the knight, knight to e3, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, c5 attacking the bishop, bishop to e7, white is enjoying more space on the board. The pawn on e3 is going to fall sooner or later. Do you agree? White to move. Bishop to c2. Not in a rush to capture the pawn. Making the room for the queen to come to d3 and then intending to visit black king on h7. Rook to e8. Queen to d3. Not in order to capture the pawn. Black to move. Perhaps knight to f8 comes to mind, defending h7. Do you agree? Bronstein played e2, white to move. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Do you need to pause the video? Or it's so easy? Boris Spassky surprised his opponent big time by playing knight to d6, sacrificing the rook. Mm. Bronstein thought hard and deep and played knight to f8. He wasn't confident to capture the rook. Let's have a look what happened if pawn takes rook. If pawn takes rook, that is check. Rook takes queen. Now bishop takes on d6. Queen to h7 check. King to f8. Queen to h8 check. King to e7. Rook to e1. But now black can play bishop or knight to e5. And after queen takes on g7, rook to g8. Queen takes on h6. But there is a good chance that the black king may survive the attack. It didn't look like that to Bronstein. So he didn't want to go to this position. Instead, in this position, he played knight to f8. Two of white pieces are hanging, a knight on d6 and rook. Spassky can't save both. Which one would you save? Instead of moving the rook, which is more valuable, Spassky played knight takes on f7. Pawn takes rook, queen, check. Rook takes queen. Black to move. Bronstein played bishop to f5. Queen takes bishop. Queen to d7, offering to exchange queens. Queen to f4. 
bishop to f6. Knight from 3 to e5, attacking the queen. Queen to e7. Bishop to b3, aligning the bishop with black king. Bishop takes knight. Knight takes bishop, discovered check. King to h7. White to move. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? White play the move and black resigned. The move is queen to e4 check, black resigned. If g6 is played, then rook takes knight, removing the defender of g6 pawn. Queen takes rook, queen takes on g6 check, king to h8, knight to f7 check, queen takes knight, queen takes queen, we can stop here, and let's go back to this position again. If instead king goes to h8, then again white would remove the defender of g6 square. Rook takes knight, queen takes rook, check, king to h7, knight takes queen, double check, king to h8, queen to h7 checkmate. And one more variation, if instead rook takes rook, the pattern is the same, then knight to g6 check again, king to h7, wow this is a better variation for black, he didn't lose the queen, unfortunately the end result is the same check mate that is why Bronstein resigned in this position and let's go back to this most critical position of the game this is the position what would you do I think most people would play queen takes pawn and other people would play rook to e1 or rook to f2 but not many would play knight to d6 Mikhail Tal would play this move I know what do you think of this game? and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now